Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce Johnny Morbid, host of The Dating Game. <laughs> no, no, there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Dating Game. It's good to have you here. It's good to be here. Hope you're all enjoying yourselves. I'm very glad to hear that. So the way this works is we're going to have our lovely bachelorette. If you could please come up here, bachelorette. Let's, let's, let's give our bachelorette a big hand. You're, you're a pretty, pretty princess. You might want to speak into the microphone, perhaps. Oh, I, th this, is, this is how it's going to be then? Genetics. Oh, genetics. Is that your name then? Yeah. Oh. You're, you're genetics Brown. Genetics Brown, yeah. I see. All right. And, uh, and, and where are you from, genetics? Uh, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Of, of the Pennsylvania Dutch? Oh, yeah. Oh. So, so, so I, I take it you won't be paying for, for the... Uh, well, you will be paying for half of the date then. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, okay. That's just how we roll, you know, from the it, Dutch aspect. And right. There will be plenty of cheese as well, of course. Oh. He has oh to my. like cheese. Um, you might want to have someone take a look at that. Moving right along, then. So, genetics. Have we got a treat for you? We have found the three most eligible bachelors in the entire two-block radius. Oh, I can't wait to meet them. Yeah. So, so why don't we get our why don't we get our, our eligible bachelors up here? Bachelor One, if you could, please introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Kasha, and it's very good to be here. It's lovely to have you, Kasha. Is, is there anything that you'd like to say to our bachelorette over there? You're going to learn a lot, my dear. Oh my. Ooh. And uh, bachelor, num bachelor number two, could you please introduce yourself? My name is Dr. What's-His-Name. Doctor of what, exactly? Precisely my point. Hmm. Thank you, bachelor number two. All right, and bachelor number three, if you could please tell us your name. Um, personally, I think it's farly too soon in this relationship to get into identities. All right, then. Well, genetics, you seem to have quite a night ahead of you. Why don't you... Uh, uh, allow me to, to make some room for you, and then you can ask our, our lovely bachelors some questions. Does that I, sound lovely? I'd love to. I'm glad that sounds so lovely. That's just lovely for everyone. Lovely. <laughs> and I'll hand this to you, and we'll get underway. So I'll be back in just a moment. Oh. No, <laughs> okay. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Contestant number one. If we were stranded on an island together, what would you want to bring? Well, safety is a precaution. So we should learn how to use the safety things first. It may take you a moment to get used to it, but after a while, it's going to feel really natural to you. Ooh, that sounds promising. <laughs> Thank you, contestant number one. Contestant number two. Yes! If we were to go anywhere for a vacation, where would you want to go? <laughs> We'd probably go back to my secret lair and hatch out the evil plans that I've been planning. Okay. Thanks, contestant number two. Oh, th th thanks, contestant number two. Contestant number three. What would you prefer? A steak? Or some chicken? Um, that's a good question. Um, you know, I, I'm gonna have to say, I don't, I don't think I, I would ever like a chicken. I, I'd have to go with steak for that. 
And I'd also like to point out that uh, I'm keeping an eye on uh, number two here. Okay. Back to contestant number one. Yes, sweetie. Hi. Are you a dude? <laughs> sweetie, I told you later on we will discuss the differences. That way it'll be easier to recognize. Hmm. You seem so wise. <laughs> I like contestant number one. No, contestant number two. Ask away! <laughs> What do you think the difference is between reality and perception? <laughs> reality is what you perceive. Perception is what your reality is. Have you not figured that out yet? Obviously not. <laughs> Obviously. You're going to need the antidote soon. <laughs> Contestant number three. Yes. Same question as before. Where, where would you prefer to go if we were to go on a vacation? Hmm. I'm quite fond of the city, really. May maybe somewhere high up. <laughs> Thank you, contestant number three. Contestant number one. What are the wisest words that you can tell me right now? Start slowly. Very slowly. Thank you, contestant number one. You're welcome, darling. Contestant two. What is your favorite thing to do? <laughs> Rule the world. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, thank you, contestant. Number two. <clears throat> contestant number three. I'm here. If... If we could fly anywhere. Ooh, flying, really? I like where this is headed. How would we fly there? Oh, that went a completely different direction than what I was expecting. Um, you know, I was kind of hoping you would tell me that, to be honest. What? So, uh,. I guess we could always buy some sort of gadget that would do it for us. Hmm. You know, that's, you are so creative. You are so, I can tell right now. Just, you're so awesome. Okay. Thank you, contestant number three. Contestant number one. Yes, sugar? Are you into teaching? Well, teaching in this step will help you to process all the other things that will help you along in this very interesting adventure that we're about to go on. So wise. Oh, I love you so much. Okay. You'll thank me later when you're older. Thank you now. <laughs> Contestant number two. What are you laughing about? One of my minions told of me a very funny joke. It reminds me of murder. Okay, contestant number three. Uh, three, the third one. The third game, whatever that is. 
I'm still I like here. skin tight suits. What color would you wear? <laughs> Yellow, obviously. Um, but you know, let me let me ask you a question. Oh, that's new. What exactly is your power? Seduction. <laughs> let's let's have a big hand for our lovely bachelorette. <laughs> so, Miss Genetics Brown, do you have any idea who Bachelor Number One is? I think Bachelor Number One is Mother Teresa. <laughs> You're close. Uh, that would be your mother explaining the birds and the bees. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, what about contestant number two? Contestant number two is Dr. Horrible? <laughs> Close enough. That would be a supervillain whose nemesis is you. <laughs> <clears throat> it all makes sense now. We'll meet again. <laughs> <laughs> if you're lucky. <laughs> And who do you think contestant number three is? Contestant number three is a superhero. Almost. Oh. <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> contestant number three is actually a sidekick looking for a new hero. Oh, shoot. Oh, I could be your hero, baby. Unfortunately, it seems we are out of time. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been The Dating Game. Johnny Morbid Suits, provided by Clowny of Hollywood. This has been The Dating Game, brought to you by The Open Stage.